part 11 of the Prince Alfred's Pass covers the section from the 47th to the 53rd kilometer, including the Deepfala Forestry Station, Komsapat, as well as the King Edward Big Tree. If you intend driving this pass, it's important to watch all the videos sequentially to gain a complete perspective. This section comprises 6 kilometers of driving through some of the finest indigenous forests in South Africa and includes several noteworthy points of interest. While this section is not scenically as diverse as the others, it nonetheless offers a feast of forest driving for those who enjoy being immersed under a canopy of trees. Most of the footage in this video consists of a gradual downhill at fairly moderate gradients. It's important in these sections where the road is covered by the forests overhead to drive with your headlights on and not your parking lights. This will make you more easily noticed by drivers approaching. In the dappled light caused by the forest canopy, certain coloured vehicles become almost invisible. Most of this section is usually wet and peppered with muddy potholes. At the 49 km point, there's a picnic site on the right hand side of the road. This is the Feltbrooks Dry picnic site, which offers superb forest views and forms part of one of the elephant hiking trails. A short walk into the forest towards the west, which is well signposted, will take you to one of the big forest giants, an Otenikwe Yellowwood, which is 600 years old. After the picnic site, the road enters a double apex right hand bend, which once again sees the heading into the southwest. Next follows a fairly long stretch of almost two kilometers with only two gentle curves to contend with. A small road intersects from the left, which is a minor access road to the Dipfala Forestry Station. The forestry station and the village lies just 300 meters to the southeast of this point and covers a large area cleared out of the indigenous forests. The Portuguese explorer Vasco da Gama wrote that he saw elephants at Mossel Bay when he landed there in 1497. And the Colonial Forest Service's Conservator of Forests for the Southern Cape, Captain Christopher Harrison, estimated that there were between 400 and 600 of them. At the 51 km point, at the next big left hand bend, a signboard appears showing Komsapat to the right and Neisner straight ahead. The Forest Legends Museum at Dipfala occupies an historic building in a clearing in the forest. Its three rooms are dedicated to the lifestyle of the woodcutters, the Neisner elephants and a collection of photographs and books about the plants and wildlife of the forests. The display includes a complete mounted skeleton of a male elephant that was discovered near the Garden of Eden in 1983. The road now enters a double S-bend, all the while remaining under the forest canopy and arrives at a staggered intersection where there's a substantial clearing. The road forming a Y-junction from the left is the access road to Dipfala and this is a recommended point of interest and offers a number of interesting historical buildings as well as being the main office to obtain cycling and hiking permits for the area. To the right is a large clearing with a picnic site. Here you can follow the signs to see the King Edward Big Tree, which involves a short walk of about 300 meters. Other points of interest in the immediate area are the railway walk and the Templeman Station, as well as the old Susie steam engine. A visit to Deepfala would not be complete without a visit to the old forester's house. The Neisner elephants are recorded as the last of the most southern elephants in the African continent and the only free-ranging elephants in South Africa. In 1876 it was estimated that 400 elephants roamed the forests of Neisner. A 1969 survey showed only 10 elephants, but a 1994 survey showed only one cow remaining. Sandparks continues to determine the exact Neisner elephant population through ongoing surveys. For the bird watchers, there are more than 280 species of birds that are listed in and around Neisner. The ardent bird watcher will have the opportunity to spot unique, rare and endemic bird species. The road continues heading into the southeast and enters a wide left hand bend where there's another clearing. Our video ends just after this point at the 53 km mark. Be sure to watch part 12 and the final video in this series on the Prince Alfred's Pass, which covers the last 12 kilometers and ends at the junction with the N2 just east of Neisner.